we do want to take you to a separate story. We're talking North Korea. It's now showing the world how easy it is to ramp up its nukes again. New satellite images show that North Korea now has a missile launch site that's ready to go. Back to normal operating status. And just yesterday, President Trump said he would be very disappointed if those reports on this were true. Joining us now, we welcome to the show Olivia Enos, a specialist in national security and foreign policy at the Heritage Foundation. Olivia, great to see you. Thank you for having me. Now, what exactly do these images show? How big is the threat? Mm. Well, the speed with which uh, North Korea has gotten the Sohei missile facility or rocket launch facility back up and running demonstrates that any steps that North Korea took in between the Singapore summit and the Hanoi summit just last week were clearly reversible and confirming the suspicions of many in Washington, purely cosmetic steps. This is extremely concerning because it went from a facility that was largely unusable to now very easily reusable. And this facility is able to test in particular North Korea's space capabilities, but this type of testing can also be used for North Korea to refine its missile testing in the future, which is highly concerning. Is there a political message here? You know, I think many are concerned that this demonstrates that North Korea was continuing to shore up its weapons capabilities, maybe even improving them in some way. And a lot are reading into it since this is coming so close on the heels after the Hanoi summit. But if you look at the satellite imagery as well as South Korean intelligence, it looks like North Korea was working on these, uh, you know, getting the facility back up to speed even long before the Hanoi summit. So to me, this calls into question the sincerity on Kim Jong-un's part in denuclearization at all. Let's talk about the humanitarian crisis in North Korea. The United Nations says 11 million, 11 million North Koreans, they're undernourished, they're starving. They're also mm. noting a, still a lack of clean water, access to health care, bad, bad food, endangering the lives of children. They've got incurable diseases now. Your take there. Yeah, the UN was reporting that crop production is down by something like 9%. But to be frank, no natural crisis or humanitarian uh, disaster poses as great of a threat to the North Korean people as Kim Jong-un and the North Korean regime themselves pose. In fact, Kim Jong-un is known for diverting to the tune of $1.3 billion in resources and funding toward his missile and nuclear program while only making requests to the World Food Program for $111 million dollars. It's clear that the regime could feed their people, but they choose not to. And this reveals yet again that the Kim regime is a brutal regime that cares nothing for its people. We have to hold them account for that. Great information. And we love your perspective on this, Olivia, and your expertise. Olivia Enos of the Heritage Foundation, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.